Yeah. That's right, baby. Ready to rock and roll. All the weak people get out. Can't <laughs> hang. Get out. How's it feel going in ready to rock and roll? Well, I feel confident, like everybody feels at the time. So uh, it's going to be a tough game going into a, a open night, Philadelphia. They had a great defense season strong last year. And um, I had an Elton brand. So it's going to be a good game. Thanks. Anything else you can do? <laughs> Do you see Philly or what you saw so far them changing their style to adapt to Elton or are they going to? Well, guys, they've only played eight preseason games and we all know they eight preseason games. They're going to, they haven't showed everything they're going to do and they haven't ran all this stuff. So I don't think they gave him $82 million not to use it. That's his team now, you think, or is it Andre's team? I think it's the owner, of, who's the owner of Philadelphia 76ers? Okay. If I can pay $82 million, I think it's my team, right? I can have a payroll of $70 million, it's my basketball team. Because I'm paying the $70 million. They're not paying me. So it's Philadelphia 76 team, the owner of the team. Well, obviously. But it's on the court. Like, why, are you at, why are you, when we go, are you going to Philadelphia tomorrow? No. Well, why don't you call Philadelphia and ask them on the court who team it is. I could care less who team it is. That, you know, we, we're going to Philadelphia to try to beat the Philadelphia 76ers. We're not going to Philadelphia to try to beat one guy. If they're going to be nice enough and put one player on the court against our five, Maybe. let them pick the one they want, and I would it would increase our chance of winning the games greatly. I, 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 those, to me, those questions are irrelevant. Whose team it is? Philly's the poster team, I guess, though, for an improved Eastern Conference, right? Well, they're a good, a good basketball team. Yeah. Well, last time I checked, the NBA champions came out of the Eastern Conference. I'm still trying to wait the improvement now. Do you improve on that? Overall, though. Obviously, Boston's still Boston. Detroit's still there. The NBA champions came out of the East. How much better are you guys? I don't know yet. We don't know. No one knows how good they are right now. The only team that knows how good they are right now is Boston Celtics because they won the NBA championship. Everybody else, they don't know. It's a work in progress. Is we haven't played a game yet. We haven't played a game that means anything. We haven't. Uh, we haven't been through any adversity. We haven't, you know, you, it takes time to find out. We got a lot of new faces. Yeah. We got we got guys, uh, our backup point guards, they don't play the NBA before. You know, Jermaine O'Neal is coming back. Uh, we haven't played a lot in the past two seasons. Uh, so we just got a lot of things. We got a lot of new people that we're trying to get involved in what we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, we expect a lot of things from some of our younger guys, too. You know, we expect Andrea to step up and have a big year. We expect Jamario and Joy to, to contribute more. Expect more from Jason Campono, Anthony Park. So, uh, you know, everybody's got to chip in and do their part. You know, we just can't, like I said, we can't rely on Jose, Chris, and Jermaine. They got to do their part, but everybody else got to do theirs. I think yesterday you referred to Humphreys as the X Factor, or an X Factor. Can you elaborate on that? Oh, uh, guys, just, just our roster. You know, listen, I, I can't sit and stand here and tell you how many minutes every guy's going to play. It depends on the game and the game situation. <clears throat> but there are a lot of X factors in your roster. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of guys who haven't played. We got a backup point guard and played in the NBA game. So we're going to start finding out tomorrow. How much can you, can you kind of, you don't know what you're going to be, but how much can you figure out from those preseason games? How much can you kind of? Answer questions. Well, I know Chris Bosch is ready to play. Yeah. I know Jose is ready to play. I feel strong that Anthony Park is ready to play. I feel strong we're ready to play physically. The guys that, that are going to go to Philadelphia with us and we put in uniform. Uh, I think we're in, in the right frame of mind mentally. Uh, we just got to go out and execute, not get caught up in the moment, not get caught up in the crowd, understanding that it's going to be emotional. It's a, they got the home opener. So it's tough to open the season on, on the road. What you know. doesn't preseason tell you as a coach? Well, it doesn't tell you how hard the other teams play, are playing. It doesn't tell you how hard the veterans are playing. You know, you guys have been around long enough. Preseason games don't mean anything, you know. They don't mean it. I mean, they're practice. So I don't know how hard Elton Brand was playing in the preseason. You know, I've been in a situation where you see a rookie come out, he had an unbelievable preseason. He struggles. Why? Them guys are playing now. It starts for real. So there's no way to measure how hard the veterans are playing. You know, LeBron plays, what, 10 minutes a game in the preseason? We all know he's going to play 38, 39 minutes a game, 40 minutes a game. 
It's a different element when he's on the court for 40 minutes rather than 10. So how much can you judge when LeBron James sits out 40 minutes? What are the questions that you're still waiting to have answered about your team? Well, the questions haven't been formulated yet. We got to see first. The questions, the, the, the only question is the backup point guard right now, but the questions really haven't been formulated. All right, we got to start playing some games before we have questions and then start trying to find answers. Other than a W, is there anything else you're looking forward to see from your team that you say we've moved in the right direction this off season? Is there anything else more important than going there trying to win? No. If it is, then let me know. And if it's, and if it's more important than a, a win, then I don't want to know. But is there anything from your guys that you're hoping to see maybe from your backcourt that would say, okay, we've made sure this is in the right direction? Well, I just want our guys to come out and play with confidence and play. You know, I know we're, we're, we're always going to play hard. But, guys, let us start playing games first. You guys ask some questions, what if this, what if that? I don't know. we got to see first. We haven't played a game yet that counts. Well, what does it mean to be going? What is, how does it feel to be going in with so many unknowns on the roster? Well, I, it feels no different than any other coach. You go ask any coach right now. And, and other probably than and, – and Boston got some unknowns. They lost James Posey. So how are those other guys going to play? Every coach right now has a bunch of unknowns. That's just the nature of our business. So it's part of coaching. You, you know, you don't – you understand it. It's in the back of your mind, but you don't let it overcome you. Do you know who you're starting at uh, small court? Yeah. You know what I would tell you? It's, it's, it's easy, but you know what? He done made me grumpy already, so I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to make you wait till tomorrow. Thank you. Is it still between Joe and <laughs> It'll be Jamario, guys. Come on. <laughs>